we want to think about now, we'd like to get something different. We'd like to improve our mindsets, but that's not a self-focused thing. A lot of talk about mindset, it's about me. Uh, you know, how do I change my mindset? How do I improve me? It, changing mindsets in the way that we're using this term is not about me. It's not a self-focused act. It's an other-focused act. In order for us to live and work with an outward mindset, we have to be able to see differently. I'm going to introduce you to a couple of frameworks that can help us do that. So the first one I'm going to introduce you to is called SAM. It's the outward mindset pattern. And here's kind of what it looks like. It forms, a, it forms an acronym. So in the outward mindset pattern, imagine that I'm in the box. Uh, this is a way to help leverage me out of the box. And I follow this pattern in a simple way. Uh, I start with S, and the S stands for see others. So what does that mean? That means get intensely curious about their needs and objectives, the things that are in their way, the things that maybe keep them up at night. I, I'm like a detective. I want to uncover and investigate as much as I can learn about the people and their, that I'm dealing with and their struggles, about the other. See people. See people. That is the first crucial part of the acronym. Um, the second part, A, stands for adjust efforts. So thinking about this, based on what I've learned in my investigation, in my, in, as a result of my curiosity about others, what adjustments can I make in my approach that can be beneficial, that can help things go right? And, and, and it could be, we're not looking for home runs, maybe just base hits. Maybe it could be minor little adjustments that I can make. Uh, don't underestimate the benefit of those 1% of those gains. There's an aggregation that occurs there. So it doesn't have to be big, earth-shattering things, but something that I can do differently that arises out of my new view of this other person, this other team, or these other folks. And then the last letter in the, in the acronym, M, stands for measure impact. See others, adjust efforts, measure impact. After I make those adjustments, I want to be able to go back then and assess, are the changes that I made, are they still relevant? Um, you know, are, are there other, uh, do I need to go back perhaps to adjust efforts and make other kind of fine tuning adjustments? But I have to check in with the folks to make sure that the things that I've done, the changes that I've made are actually helpful. So see others, adjust efforts, measure impact. The thing I like about this is you can practice it anywhere. You can practice this daily. There's an opportunity to get repetitions in with this everywhere you go. The first time I practiced it was at a Target. Uh, there's two kinds of people in the world, in my experience. There's Target people and Walmart people, and they hardly ever meet unless you need D batteries at three in the morning. Uh, so I'm in Target, I'm standing in line, and I'm waiting my turn. And I think I can practice this iteration here. I can build this mental rep. And I simply thought, it started with the S, seeing people. And I looked at the cashier, her name was Megan, and I thought, what would it be like to be Megan? She's standing on her feet probably, you know, for hours at a time making close to minimum wage, probably having people go through the checkout line without ever even acknowledging her time and time again because they're caught up in their own world, their phone calls, what have you. Uh, what would that be like to be that person? And as I started asking those questions, she became real to me. Uh, she wasn't just a means to an end, uh, a person doing a job. She was a person who was serving me. And so I thought, okay, with her being real, what's a minor adjustment that I could make? Just one little minor adjustment that might make her job incrementally easier. And the thing that I came up with on the spot was, well, um, I can turn all of my UPC codes up and out because I noticed that she's checking the person out in front of me. She was struggling to find them. So I turn all my UPC codes up and out. I'm just standing there. I've got time. Uh, and they were, they were all in a different place, by the way, really hard to find. And uh, so sure enough, it comes my turn to be checked out. And Megan rings up my purchases in record time and bags them up. And I uh, was able then to uh, move to the next step, which is measure impact. And I simply asked Megan, I said, Megan, this is going to sound like a weird question, but I noticed you seem to be struggling with the QR codes or with the UPC codes. And so I turned mine all up and out. I'm just curious, was that actually helpful? And she says, sir, I've only been working here two weeks. I can never find those things. That was incredibly helpful. So I've done, I've practiced this iteration. I've built that mental rep. I've actually been helpful. As much as this is practice, I'm actually being helpful to another person. And I'm maintaining that outward mindset through the use of this pattern. Um, now, look, the reason I measure impact is simply like, she could have said something else. She could have said, well, Chip, you should understand, assuming she knew me, uh, you should understand that we get paid a bonus for how fast we find them on our own, and you just cost me a buck fifty. 
Now I know I'm going to go back next time and just throw them up there randomly, right? But see people adjust efforts, measure impact. Great framework.